An upset was in the air for quite a while at a rainy racecourse ground. Peter Lupton scored the first half's only try as the Welsh side led 4-0 at the break. The Crusaders extended that lead to 6-0 in the 54th minute when the referee ruled that the Leeds fullback Brent Webb, looking for a penalty himself, was guilty of hanging on to Jason Chan in the tackle, giving the penalty the other way. Michael Witt successful with the penalty to make it six points to nil. But there was plenty of late drama in this one too. Danny Maguire feeding off Jamie Peacock's offload to help put the Rhinos back level. The Crusaders edged again ahead when Witt kept his nerve and footing on a slippery night to give the home side a 7-6 lead. But after long spells of second-half pressure, Leeds finally found a way through. Ali Loatiti twisting over to break the Crusaders' hearts. Leeds winning 12-7. They only just did it in the end. You've just come out, you've had a close game, you've won it by the skin of your teeth, and a reporter says you got out of jail. A reasonable question to ask, isn't it? Well, I think in, in modern sport, it's a kind of dr dramatic statement that a journalist is going to make, isn't it? And so uh, they're, they're trying to elicit a response, I'm sure, and I, th I think they imagine they got one. <laughs> yeah, well, the reason that we asked the question is that I understand that Mr McDonald was not very impressed by, by that. But, I mean, let's be honest, you know, you, Crusaders were always going to give them a bit of a go, weren't they? I tipped them to actually mm. come on top, the Crusaders. We were watching the results. They've been going really well for 60 minutes. You know, the coach is talking about we're getting better <laughs> and better. Of, uh, Brian. I mean, it'd keep your kids away from the fire, wouldn't it? He's <laughs> 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 got that face on in the press conference. I can understand a bit of fear factor there. But I thought the Crusaders, they're, they've got, they're a good team. They're looking for a win. Things haven't quite gone their way this year, but I knew that was going to be a tough battle. And to come out the right side is a fair effort, I think. I mean, Leeds are still... Knocking on the door, we keep saying it. They're going to. I mean, last week they played really well against LKR. Obviously, they didn't play so well this time round. But they've got the talent, haven't they, Robbie? Well, they have, and I think that's what's getting them through games that they could possibly lose. Now, there, there, you see, right in the dying moments of the game, pretty much all over, seven six to the Crusaders, and you've got a player of Ali Lau Titi's uh, quality, international player of the past, and he can squeeze through those sort of guys. Got good power. You know, Danny Maguire comes up with a try. These players, you know, we've been talking about them all season long. They're great players and they are working hard, but they just don't seem to be gelling together. But let's be positive about the Crusaders. That that is, you know, that that kind of performance. Uh, it's something that they've done in the past. They can win games, can't they? Absolutely, and you know we're all talking about. I've said probably said the shake-up of the eight is probably down to nine now. But when you're playing these teams underneath you, if you're one of the top teams, you could come unstuck. This last third of the season might be really, really exciting with results.